to talk about chain piecing our blocks for the voyage quilt pattern. And it's not complicated, but it is different than just straight chain piecing blocks that you would for a quilt. So you are probably familiar with our tutorial chain piecing quilt rows. So you end up with these rows that are finished that are all chained together and you have a whole quilt top that just needs to be sewn row by row by row. Well you can actually do that with the, the little blocks in the voyage pattern to make bigger blocks. So you have half square triangles, half rectangle triangles, which we have another tutorial for that, and squares. And really nicely we can chain those into rows to get our blocks. And then of course, once we have our blocks, we can do the same thing again. We can chain those blocks into rows. So uh, it, it kind of um, helps your brain get organized, helps your sewing space be organized, and helps keep all those little blocks organized. <laughs> um, so join with me, we're gonna be sewing squares. The only part where it gets a little bit different is we have that half rectangle triangle that's right in the middle. So we just jump around, snip some threads, keep going, and in the end you have a nice little chain together block. It's not too bad, join me. So I have a block completely laid out and I'm making the baby quilt. So this for me is color three, color four, and color five. You probably can't see a ton of variation because these were hand dyed fabrics and it's very, very subtle. So they're all kind of very, very gradually gradating. Um, but they're there, so that's how I've arranged it. I've even used little pins and paper just to keep everything organized. Uh, so my, you know, my brain doesn't melt trying to get everything organized because I definitely won't keep it all in order if I don't have some kind of label. And that's another reason why these chain piecing these blocks together is, is really, really nice for organization. So what I'm going to do is take this first row. I'm going to work vertically, even though when I talk about rows, I'm talking about these horizontal rows. But when we chain piece, we're going to be working vertically. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four. And I'm just going to stack it right here. And then one, two, oh, do you see this one? That, that's a little bit uh, of our, um, our monkey wrench, I guess. <laughs> but we'll, we'll still make it work. It's still very, 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 very doable. Okay, so these are going to sew right sides together on top of each other. So my first two are going to go right sides together right here. And I'm going to keep this, try to keep this still so you can still see what I'm doing. Here we go. So I'm not going to snip my threads. I'm just going to go with my next couple of blocks. I'm going to make them right sides together and I'm going to keep going. And this is how we this is how we chain together. So we're chaining uh, our thread. So this is our HRT, our kind of our crazy HRT, and our half square triangle. Okay, right sides together. Those are going to go together. Here we go. We got two more pairs. Here we are, right sides together. Okay. Oops. And our final pairing, right sides together. And I'm gonna be real with you, I rushed through, um, <laughs> I rushed through trimming my HSTs for this video, so they're not all the right size. <laughs> but you shouldn't do that. Okay, now I'm gonna cut. All right, I am not gonna trim any of these threads, okay? I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna start back from the beginning with number one, and I'm gonna take one, two, oh, Three's gone. 
So there we go, four and five. And you'll see how I make this happen. All right, I'm gonna put these right here in a nice little pile in order. Okay, so I have my first block in uh, the third section, right sides together. Okay, whoa, we're at our HRT. We're gonna skip it. We're just gonna keep that folded over. We're gonna jump to our next one. It's another solid. I guess I did that. Okay, um, mm, 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 let me just look at my diagram because I feel like while I was talking, I was getting that wrong. Okay, yes, it should be like this. So it's always good to double check. If you're looking at something, you're like, my gut saying that's not right and you see how we kind of have this funny situation happening all we do is we just snip that one little area but once again we're going to be skipping our hrt so let me get back here open that up okay one two we're going to skip three four five and we're going to keep going there we go, we're still on track. Things are looking good. Okay, so now, once again, we're gonna snip that HRT thread and this is where we're finally going to incorporate that HRT. So I'm gonna get all of the blocks in this row right here. And I'm gonna move my camera over. Here we go. So you can just see. What if I move my machine? There we go. Okay. <laughs> expert camera work over here. Uh, all right, final row, and then we'll see our lovely chain. And at this point, you're probably like, well, Suze, I don't even need to keep watching the rest of this video because I got it. That's probably true. And then you don't need this video, right? You can just go on your merry way. Okay, here's our HRT. So now we're finally going to sew to that. How fun. How fun for us. All right, let's cut our last seam and see how we did. Look at that. Everything is nice and organized. Our entire block is chained together. I'm going to move my sewing machine out of the way here. Just a little bit. Um, so at this point, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm really into pressing. So at this point, I would probably snip these threads and I would press you know, this one direction and this the other direction. And so everything nests really well. I was sewing this pattern with my good friend, Caitlin. And she, I mean, she just goes for it. So she, at this point, just flips it over and she'll just, you know, kind of mash it with her fingers and pin. And, you know, she'll even pin the entire block, flip it over and then, you know, mash it with her fingers and pin. And then by the end of it, you have a whole block and then she presses it at the end. So if you can make that work, there's no wrong way. Um, there's just, you know, your way. And if you're feeling like that's not getting, giving you precise, um, accurate results, don't do that. I, I can kind of be like a tortoise, you know, like slow and steady and, you know, pressing all my seams and whatnot, but both work. Um, so just, you know, experiment, right? Have fun with it. Whee!